Okay, folks, we're going to do another mini another miniatures unboxing here. This is kind of unexpected. Uh, I'm currently working on my project, and uh, I got a, a an offer I couldn't refuse. And um, we're going to open this up and see what we got here. This is actually from a um, fellow person on Fanaticus that said that he had access to some figures. They're out of production, and I figured, you know, you guys might. Uh, be interested in seeing what this involves so let's see what we got here okay some Comnenan Byzantines and uh, not only are they just any Comnenan Byzantines but they're ones that are no longer made I'll make sure I don't leave anything here in the package nope. that's it they are from a manufacturer called, and I hope I'm saying this right, Elaine Tuller. Uh, and uh, it's a French manufacturer. They are no longer in business because the sculptor, um, it was a one-man band. Uh, he passed away, I understand, like a couple of years ago. He was living in the south of France and really didn't have any manufacturing facilities or anything, but um, I do have some of his figures. I actually, the third or fourth DBA army I ever built, my Koreans were from uh, his figures, and I really liked them a lot. Um, and um, they're basically really hard to get a hold of. So I just figured I'd do this unboxing here. This is uh, for some Comnenan uh, Byzantine. So we're gonna see what we got here. Let's start with the little guys first. And of course, we'll have pictures of these, and. Put them down here in the corner. <clears throat> Let's see. So we've got some uh, Saloy down here. Some, oh, here we go. Four Saloy. Okay, I'm gonna put these over here because we're gonna have the picture down there, what these guys look like. And um, looks like there's two stands of them. Now Paul uh, did mention, Paul Hanna was uh, the person that uh, said that he had these available if anybody was interested in them and uh, this is an army that um, fits into what our group has uh, Mitch has uh, uh, Crusaders and he also has um, some of the uh, he's got a big Muslim morph and uh, I've got Armenians to do and now we should have uh, some uh, Come down in Byzantine. Okay, so in here we've got uh, we've got four spear units. Okay, and uh, again we'll uh, we'll have a picture of what these guys show. Four of these guys right here got the big shields and the spears. Okay, and um, we also have four axemen, which are no no none other than the Varangian Guard. So it's a unit of blade in them and uh, we'll show them as well so you can take a look at what these are um, the the sizing of them seems to be about the size of old glory they're a little on the larger size without uh, being Zeiston size so they look really similar to old glory so uh, in case of you you guys were wondering what those were and then we got all kinds of cavalry here of course this is a cavalry heavy army and um, one thing that Paul mentioned was that this was not a complete DBA army. Um, and I'm not sure if, here it says DBA 401. It might have been like a really old DBA 1.1 army or something like that. I didn't get into DBA until we were already at 2.2. So I uh, can't really comment on that. But that might be the case. I did kind of glance. He did show me a picture of what these guys uh, consisted of. And um, they basically, uh, if it's not a complete army, I'm short, like maybe only like two bow stands. And that's it. So these guys are pretty much good to go. Um, these are, um, and I have some of their figures. Like I said, I, I've got the, uh, the Koreans, which I did. I'll put a link at the bottom on my um, uh, WordPress site where all the pictures of the Koreans are at. So you can see what they look like. But I also uh, have some feudal Spanish uh, that they make and I also have some uh, Timurids. So they're really nice figures. They're archers just like the Korean archers I had. They're two-piece figures So you've got guys that are 
uh, they'll get glued on there and they're they're two piece there with bows these happen to be looks like three stands of light horse um, six uh, light horse stands and um, so that should uh, that should fit nicely and the other cool thing about this army is uh, if you've been watching any of our videos we've been doing recently we've been doing a theme called the wimp wars and that's basically what that means is that um, you got to have at least six elements that are uh, either light horse or soloi and uh, this is an army that can be uh, a wimp warable army um, it can have um, between the light horse that you can take and the Saloy you can take, you can definitely make this a Wimp War Army. Okay, so this looks like it's the command stand. Um, got three um, got three draped horses uh, with the cloth on them. And it looks like we got a commander here and uh, a standard bearer and uh, just a standard guy with the... Uh, with the almond shaped steep, uh, the kite type shields. So, um, the also have a banner there for them. We may have to replace these things. This is a kind of the, what I like to call the old, uh, lead, uh, compound. This is how stuff used to be. When I first started gaming in the mid eighties, uh, everything basically came in this, the bendy lead, um, and it might have with has to do with it's got less tin in it or something like that. And around 1990, 91, it started doing a big stink about, oh, no, there's lead in the figures and this lead-free alloy and stuff. And I think what it is is they, they have more tin or something in them now. But it made them more brittle. I didn't like them to begin with because it was more difficult to take the flash off and you couldn't bend the, bend the spears back. But honestly, what it means is if the alloy is a little harder, it actually doesn't bend to begin with. Um... Whereas these will bend real easy and you have to bend them back. A lot of like the older figures that I have, some Essex, just about all the Essex figures that I have all have this, uh, the, their early al alloy. So I will probably end up replacing these spears with needles. So we probably will do that. And yes, you file them down. I'm, I'm sure I probably need to do a video on those. While I, do them. I, I put comments on my figures frequently that I use needles and people freak out like, you know, they're going to think they're going to get drug, uh, blood transfusion or something like that. But it's really very safe to use. You just take a small file and file the end off. It takes, I don't know, less than 10 seconds for each one, maybe five seconds. And, uh, and it does, I mean, obviously, if you, you can put it through your finger, but it will um, it will keep you from being drawing blood unintentionally. So um, anyhow, so we got this other bag over here. And uh, looks like we've got some more mounted. And I have a feeling this is going to be some more light horse and some of the cavalry stands. Got some cav guys. So um, we'll try to get some pictures down here of what it is. Uh, he mentioned it wasn't a complete army. Um, if it isn't, it's really close, like I said. Uh, we Actually, this these will bend back pretty well. And it's... Uh, yeah, I'll probably end up replacing these with uh, with the needles or or pins, just so you don't have to worry about them breaking and and causing turmoil later. Uh, my Koreans that I have, I almost have gotten to the point where I'm going to retire them and not use them again because their lances have been bent forward and back so many times from being repaired. I mean, it's not very bad, but. Um, it is to the point where uh, I'm concerned about using them and one of them breaks and then I've got to redo the whole stand. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, that's a DBA 2.2 army, so it's really not getting much use. And the 3.0 list can change considerably what's in it. So I have, I'm unfortunately probably going to retire them and uh, they'll just look pretty in the uh, display case. Uh, but anyhow, back to these figures. Looks like we got some cavalry guys with the almond shaped shields. Uh, got some light horse here. They're javelin throwers. Okay, we got some uh, other horsemen here that do have lances, but they have round shields, almost like bucklers. So, you know, we've got some variety of items here. I'm probably going to get, uh, and I think this, when I do build these guys, I'll probably do the A and the B list, which means the B's basically um, was one of the... Uh, uh, 
the, the A list has um, is mostly cavalry for their mounted, and the B list is uh, has basically all of their cavalry went to all of their cavalry went to knights. Uh, one of one of the reforms that uh, Manuel uh, made is that he got everybody fighting in a crusader fashion with uh and turn them into knights basically with uh with the large shields this this style so we'll probably need to get some mount, more mounted figures so i think maybe one pack of mounted or something like that and one pack of the bows and uh we're probably good to go with these guys so uh hopefully you guys found this interesting uh, these are hard to come by had to jump on them um definitely looking for uh one of the projects for next year maybe 2020 i think this year is already uh between the Burgundian build and um, another goal that I have to do by the end of the year. We'll see if that comes about. Um, I'm pretty much full in 2019, so it'll be 2020 before we see some of these guys. But uh, again, another Book 4 Army. I know you guys will watch my stuff and always seems like I'm doing Book 4 Armies. and Book four, uh, 3 and 4, uh, I've got some Book 2 Armies as well. Book 1, just never can get around to doing them. I know some of you guys really like those, but... They're just hard to get real excited about when they don't have flags or shields or herald or anything like that. Um, I have more fun painting these guys that uh, are more colorful and uh, there's a little bit more information on what they look like. So you can put you can go with uh, what's known and then put your little bit of spin on it. But anyhow, uh, this is uh, Elaine Tulare figures, um, not available anymore uh, from France, and um, they're really nice. They're uh, you know. They're a little bit larger than Essex, and uh, they're about the comparable with Old Glory. So uh, I'll have some pictures, uh, pictures down there in the corner in the, so you can see close up what these look like. Okay, well, until next time, uh, we'll see you later.